What's good, Tony Fan? Today I have South Park Season 18, Episode 6, titled Free Miam Isn't Free. I hope I didn't butcher that title. Hope everyone's doing good. I'm loving this show, obviously, because we've done a bunch of episodes so far. I'll leave a playlist in the description below to all the episodes we've watched. If you're new to the channel and you haven't seen it, and let's get on to this episode. Oh, hang on a sec. Hey, Jimmy, what's up? Not much. I just wanted to make sure you've heard the f fantastic news. Okay. There's a new Terrence and Philip mobile game, and it's so amazing and incredibly fun. Oh my really? god, yeah. not a new mobile, mobile game. Who plays some totally mobile free. games? Though? You should download it to your phone. The terrible quality. Either play PC games or console. Mobile? What is this, Candy Crush? This is in 2005. The only good mobile game is freaking Angry Birds. Back in the OG days. You collected 10 Canadian cards. Congratulations. Hey, you're really good at this guy. What? Congratulations, Cal. With Canada cards, you can buy stuff and help Taz and Philip rebuild Canada. No, I not microtransactions. Or better yet, buy them in bulk. Literally gambling for little children. This is stupid. Well, it's just 49 cents for the cheapest one. Until they get you hooked. It's like a drug. I hate microtransactions in video games. It's pretty much a gamble for children. I think uh, skins in like Fortnite are fine because it doesn't inf affect the actual gameplay. We thought you would be pleased with the quality of the mobile game. It's oh, the mobile game. game. All you do is collect and spend Canada. Hey, we know the game's not great, but who cares? It's free, but it's not free. Exactly. If you charge 40 cents here and 50 cents there, then it's not free. Yep. They see through the charade. <laughs> I mean, it's not where your heart to see through. You've seen through the charade, so you might as well know everything. Allow me to explain the science behind MicroPay Premium Gaming. For years, the concept behind gaming was simple. You pay for the game and you enjoy. With mobile apps, we now have the ability to make games that are boring and stupid. But if you pay Did for the incentives, you're rewarded. the game companies take ideas Premium. from this episode? The meme is Latin for not really. Literally ready. what's happening It's a simple today. cycle. A never-ending loop based on RPGs. Explore, collect, spend, improve. We've introduced the idea of micro-paying with money. Yep. Money, 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 money. Money, 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 money. Shane McMahon type shit. You're in big trouble, Stanley. Can you explain to us how you managed to spend $489 on a mobile app? <laughs> See, I knew it. I'm sorry, I didn't realize I spent that much. Yeah, you never realize it. Stan, just because I make a good living with my music doesn't mean you can go blow it all on Canada. I'll pay you back for it, okay? He knew he'd get in trouble, but it didn't matter. Yeah. I hate to say it. He's a child. But this is a lot like his grandpa. What do you mean? <laughs> Dad's Not always grandpa. had a gambling problem. He's got total addiction tendencies. Could he have somehow passed those demons down to Stan? Well, oh, you certainly have some of those problems too with drinking. I Ooh, had a problem, but I was snap. able to stop. Now I only drink gluten free beer and wine. Yes. Wine's fine. The successful freemium game is based on five principles entice the player with a simple game loop, use lots of flashing cha chings and compliments to make the player feel good about themselves, make the game about waiting, but let the player pay not to wait. It's a surefire way to make lots of money. Yes, yes, yes. Can't the game hidden inside the charade just at least be fun? No, of course not. If the game was too fun, then there would be no reason to micropay in order to make it more fun. Mm. Is this why all the games are glitchy on PCs right now? Did you see that Last of Us port? How much money did you micropay today, Stan? Nothing. Dude, I bought like $10 worth of Canada. But check it out, I unlocked a stadium in Toronto. Yeah, not your $10, though, You spent $10, $10 though, is it? and 8 hours to unlock a stadium. You guys, is it that much dumber than video games you play? Yes. Like Jimmy said, it's a cool way to zone out. Wait, wait, wait. Jimmy told you about this game? God damn Jimmy it, Jimmy. told Jim. me about this game. Maybe Penny, Jimmy gets a side game? piece. Hmm? It does it get 10% off the top? Duh. Hmm. He's like a pimp for games, imagine. You looking to have some fun? <laughs> what do you mean? Literally. It's Terrence and Philip mobile game. All the cool kids are using it. Uh, I don't know. Come on, just try it out. You can be Terrence or Philip or both. You can walk around and collect candy cash to build new stuff. Yes. Perfect thing if you're bored. And honestly, the best part about it is it's free. Why does this sound like an AI chat GPT machine? Dude, what are you doing? I think it just, just gets sponsored. Out. What do you have to? You need to stop recommending that app to people. It's like when the streamer started uh, gambling on stream. Literally wording off a script. What happens on level two after you get the Ontario Nugget? All right, all right. I never played it. I stay away from the stiff. You just push it on other people? They pay me too. Who, Jimmy? Who pay 
sees you. The government. I'm really uncomfortable with this freemium thing. Oh, what is the matter? It seems dishonest, <laughs> and we have a branch. What is the matter? <laughs> it's crazy. Let's just look at all the things we're getting to build. Soon, Canada will be as advanced and developed as Michigan. Have you been to Michigan? Doesn't seem well developed to me, but. Uh... I have an idea. How about we take some of the billions of dollars we are making and we start a campaign to teach everyone to play the game in moderation? Do you really think that would help? No. Of course. The alcohol industry does it all the time. You, friends, Damn. fun, Some drink, action. hot girls, you're hot, drink more, expensive cars, ass, drink, ass, money, you and a tuxedo, Hell Reese, yeah. vodka, drink, 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 you, drink, Vegas, fun, vodka, drink, 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 drink it all. Jesus, this is what ADHD people feel like every day. Please drink responsibly. Have you noticed that when there's like gambling ads on the TV, they have like a little voice over at the end where you can hardly hear it where it says something like don't gamble or don't drink. But that's never permanent because obviously the people that pay for the ads want you to do it. You two have demons you're trying to compensate for. Well, what about you? You're having a glass of wine. I'm not having a glass of wine. I'm having six. <laughs> it's called a tasting Got and it's it. classy. Yeah, you can call it whatever the hell yeah, you want. I'm not still addicted. A I can stop. I just like playing it, but I don't have to. I'll prove it. Yeah, and if he stops, I'll stop. All right. And if you two stop, then we won't have a problem anymore. Wow. Is it my responsibility what people decide to do with their fifth free time? Yes. I was just a middle people were going man. to learn about the game somewhere, if not from me. But you accepted money from the Canadian government to push a premium game on us. Why would they do that? How do you get people addicted to crack? You give it away for free. You give away a little taste, and then, and then some people can't stop themselves. And now Stan is so consumed by the shit you've been pushing that he can't even see through it. How could you sell out your friends? I needed the money already. Right? Damn, Carmen's actually a good person in this episode. Surprising. I love the sparkling little gems. The sounds they made when I got new ones. Yeah. Then I made my first in-app purchase. Before I knew it, I had spent my allowance. Then my birthday money. I lost my crutches. You have your crutches. <laughs> it's a figure of speech with crippled people. We'd say we lost an arm and a leg, but they ain't worth much. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. They know exactly what they're doing. That Drake literally just killed me. That's crazy. We've just given you 5,000 Canadian coins. Enjoy your Canada. Yo. Free? Free. What is wrong with you, Stan? <laughs> you said you stopped buying Canada. I didn't think I spent that much. I, I clicked on a few micro pays and it just kind of added up. $26,000? Wow. Do you know how many songs I have to write to make back Jesus that much money? Jesus Christ. One. <laughs> One. Witchy witch. I don't know how you can say that when you're standing here chugging beer. I am not chugging beer. I'm sampling a flight of gluten-free German lagers with a French wine pairing. It's called a smorgasbein and it's elegantly cultural. I didn't understand one word he just said in the entire sentence. It literally just threw wiped by my ears. I know this stuff is hard to understand. Trust me, I know. I'm an addict too. But I got help. How? You've got to reach out to a higher power, Stan. God? You've got to get down on your knees. And you've got to say, I have a problem. I have a problem. And you've got to ask that higher power for help. People need to know pushers are being hired to take advantage of people with addiction problems. There has to be a way we can get to the news company. Yeah, but you're acting like that's the only company doing it. It's literally like over a hundred thousand. Almost every single game these days have microtransactions of some kind. I wouldn't be surprised if Fortnite is the most lucrative game in the world right now. I guess I have something inside me that I can't control. It's something kind of dark. Please... Help show me the way. Yo, God, is that you? Well, not Satan himself. You have summoned the Prince of Temptation. For what purpose? Microtransactions. Oh, shit. Uh, I have addiction demons and I don't understand them. So you've got dopamine, right? That's the yeah. chemical that gets released in your brain. Damn, what a white chemistry teacher around like here. Sack. But because humans have progressed and now have access to all the shit they want whenever they want it, it's easy for them to overdo and have dopamine problems. Yes. You know, it's not fucking rocket science, this stuff. Okay, good. There's nothing spiritually wrong with me? Fuck no. I think Satan would be a good buddy to hang out with, not gonna lie. He just seems like a chill dude. Never thought I would say it, but Satan's a cool dude in this episode. The attic people said something about me filling a hole. 
Well, who's not filling a fucking hole? Well, right? you know, hey, what kind of you. Is that? that just sounded wrong. We're building a new Canada with micropayments from addicts. Who cares? Exactly. Who cares? They don't care that 10% are gonna get addicted. They're counting on it. Why does he suddenly sound like Al Pacino in Devil's Advocate? <laughs> Wow. I'm the Canadian Devil. <laughs> Not the oh, Canadian God. It's the devil. Canadian Devil. Beelzebub. Eh? Translation, please. What have I done? <laughs> so basically, the genes so you got doing, from your dad I mean, this make Satan you more looks likely like to have just like, trouble <laughs> with the um, Canadian dopamine one. regulation, and that's why you need to kind of watch out for addictive stuff. It'd be like a fly Okay, the so we kind of understand now, champ? I guess so. But why do companies have to put so many addictive things out there? Um, money? Is there any other answer? Hey, buddy, where'd you go? Don't you want more Canada? What's this? That's what I've been addicted to. It's a freemium game sending me push notifications. What, you just collect coins? Yeah. Damn, he's gonna get hooked on her as well. How much money can you buy today? Who put this out? Uh, Canada? Oh, that son of a bitch. He's always doing this shit. I tell him, temptation has to be nuanced, <laughs> but he goes and does this crap again. I'm gonna need to borrow your soul real quick, kid. Is that all right? No. That's kind of crazy. We might say we in. Jesus, that looks painful. Oh, pass interference! Interference! Yo, he's an emo Where child now. I shall return. Do not attempt to stop me. Okay. Calm Told down, you. Kids buddy. Kids got demons. I don't do that. <laughs> I'm the Canadian Devil. The Canadian Devil now has complete control of the souls of every Canadian. It's a Maltese it's a sad day for Canada and their father well. <laughs> Why is your sound turned on? Once again, you lack any sense of nuance. Where the fuck is that? <laughs> well, well, my overachieving doppelganger. Ah, watch it, yeah. One of the greatest battles since God and Satan. Fighting the Canadian Devil. This looks like a Final Fantasy boss battle. My end has come. Damn, everyone just got sucked so Hey, That dude. was cool. Hey. Cool transition. You alright? Yeah. Yeah, I think I'm gonna be okay. Yep, I think so too. Yeah. We will no longer make premium games. Canada is back to being an ethical, respected, shitty tundra. Yes. Amen, brother. Amen. Move here and here, and then I'm gonna roll to kill this zombie. Okay, good idea. What are you gay wads doing? We're playing board games, so that Grandpa avoids the casino and I avoid premium apps. Well, all right. Good for you guys. Tell you what, I'll join you. Board games go good with a glass of wine. <laughs> Jesus, that cup is gigantic. It's not drinking. It's called a wine Zinfandel sipping sprint, and it's competitive. Yes. Get off your high fucking horse. Is that a Your sport? turn, Grandpa. If you roll a five or six, you can kill these zombies. You guys want to put some money on it? <laughs> I like this whole episode. This was a parody slash conversation on microtransactions in video games. That was like one of the worst gambling addictions for children. People don't classify it as that, but I do. That's crazy. You literally buy loot boxes and OG NBA fans know about the um, NBA packs. Just so you can get a good player in the game for your team. It seems like every other game that's released today has microtransactions in it. Until next time.